welcome all in this section we are going to talk about pipe couplings this is a total agenda definitions and in interesting facts about uh, pipe coupling so that we can understand what these fittings are then categories of pipe couplings types of pipe couplings selection criteria then we'll talk about full coupling and half couplings then in the end we'll talk about few of the asme standards which are generally used for all these couplings in along with this you will get a link for a quiz which is there in the description box you can go to that and you can attempt uh, the questions related to pipe couplings so let us start with the agenda now let us look at a few of the definitions and interesting facts related to pipe couplings pipe couplings are the fittings which are generally used uh, to connect two ends of pipe okay this can be socket welded or this can be threaded one right and in, in few cases uh, we use these fittings where there is a difference in size also okay so in short couplings are pipe fittings that help us to extend or terminate the pipe runs okay these fittings are also used where we are going to change the size in more in many cases these fittings these pipe couplings are used to repair a broken or a leaking pipe also especially in small bores so we are going to maintain the continuity of the pipe or we are terminating it <coughs> right so so we are saying uh, same thing here uh, these are used to maintain the continuity between two pipes so body of the pipe coupling is typically made of either the same or similar material same as pipe so where it is going to uh, get connected on both the ends then there may be rigid or flexible dependency right where the type of coupling may be decided based on the flexibility of the pipe so as we talked about these are generally used for small bore where a little bit more flexibility is there as compared to large bore lines so they may be permanently connected or may be removable type so if it is a welded one socket welded we can say it is a permanent type if it is threaded one then it can be removable type the pipe couplings can be increased or reduced in internal diameter to join the different sizes as we talked about uh, the same thing here different sizes so this can be used to fulfill that purpose also so these are the basic definitions and interesting facts about uh, pipe coupling couplings can be divided into two parts you can say the categories of couplings one is permanent coupling second is removable type couplings in most of the type uh, most of the time the permanent couplings will make use of soldering or brazing in cast in case of steel or copper pipes which will make it permanent joint if it is done very uh, correctly then this can offer a very excellent uh, rigidity and sealing characteristics where no future changes are anticipated so point is we go with the permanent type of coupling when we don't envisage any future expansion or future change in that piping system on the other hand if we go with the removable coupling we will be having a threaded design okay which allows them to be screwed on to the pipe where we want to join it so screwed connections will be there so this can be removed very easily that is why we call it removable couplings simplest of these is the basic pipe section slightly larger than the pipes which will be having internal threads right the ends of the pipe are also threaded not only the couplings but the pipe ends will have to be 
uh, threaded ones where the coupling is simply sealed with sealing tape or screwed on both ends so these are the two categories permanent and removable where we don't envisage any future expansion or any future change in the system we can go with permanent type of couplings also if we want to make it a removable type then we can always go with this threaded type of removable couplings if you look at the types of pipe couplings we have four categories we can divide these couplings into four categories according to construction maybe full coupling or half coupling then according to working we can call it compression coupling slip coupling then there is third type based on application reducer coupling permanent pipe coupling or removable type coupling right so this is only based on application then coupling material that also defines one type of uh, few types of pipe couplings for example pvc pipe coupling rubber pipe coupling flexible pipe coupling carbon steel pipe coupling stainless steel pipe coupling right so these are the four categories under these categories we have few types of pipe couplings most of the time we generally use full coupling and large coupling terminology which will comprise all these categories also so in this section we are going to discuss about full and half coupling in detail now we know various categories of pipe couplings types of pipe couplings now let us discuss how we select these kind of pipe couplings right so there may be type of tubing rigid or flexible okay this will decide the type of uh, coupling then compatibility okay where which material we are uh, having for pipes that will also define the type of couplings of course temperature and pressure these are the process conditions which will uh, become the foundation for selection uh, of couplings then chemical resistance joint type whether it is permanent or uh, temporary coupling size also sometime uh, governs when selecting the pipe couplings working conditions compatible with indoor or outdoor uh, use okay where we are going to use these couplings that will also uh, help us to select the type of coupling then safety rating ease of installation alignment requirement so these nine factors will help us once we know once we define these factors for a particular piping system we can easily select the pipe couplings out of various types which we use uh, discussed in last slide now let us talk about full coupling these are the coupling which is uh, used for connecting small bore pipes okay maybe pipe to pipe or pipe to swage or nipple these are the items which are connected with the help of full couplings especially for small bore sizes these can be threaded or socket welded now socket welded will be used where the pipe ends are plain and it right and threaded coupling will be used where the small bore piping are threaded so based on pipe ends the selection of these coupling can be done so these are few things which we need to know about full couplings now let us have a look at half couplings this is again one of the types of pipe couplings these are these uh, couplings which are again used for small bore but for branching from vessel <coughs> or large bore pipe we can take a tap uh, on pipe or vessel and we can utilize half couplings to have a connection there again it can be threaded or socket welded right it has socket or thread and on only one side okay second side there may be a different type of connection but one side it will have a socket or thread socket welded half couplings 
can be directly welded to large bore pipe as we talked about here we can take a branch out of it this can be directly welded to large bore pipe to make a pipe connection branch connection it is used to take a small bore pipe branch off from a large bore pipe where the pipe spec requirement is socket welded okay so this help us to take small bore tappings from a large bore headers similarly if we talk about threaded half coupling it has one thread and on another end it should be butt welding so it can be either plain end or a beveled end so this is how the half couplings are available and utilized in piping industry now let us look at the asme standard which is used for which we can use for couplings this standard is for forced fittings socket welded and threaded fittings so coupling is one of those fittings which falls under this category so 16.11 is a asme standard which covers both uh, half and full couplings so if you look at the total scope it covers rating dimensional details tolerances marking and material requirements for force fittings both for socket welded as well as threaded fittings so if you see this is full coupling and this is half coupling all these threaded uh, dimensions the outside diameters the total overall length that is covered in the form of tables which are there in the 16.11 so if you overall look at this if it is w this is w by 2 so it is purely half uh, as compared to full coupling so all these dimensional details with respect to size we can get outside diameter end to end dimensions so all these uh, parameters which we require to define the dimensions of full or half coupling are defined in the form of tables so this is how we can utilize the dimensional standards for pipe couplings now along with the dimensional details these standards 16.11 it talks about ratings also so this is very interesting if you see these ratings 2000 3000 6000 and 9000 these are defined for various types of fittings threaded or socket welding these ratings are defined with respect to schedule numbers if it is 80 and threaded then 2000 class is defined so with respect to schedule number and wall designation access double access access double access this pipe schedule versus the type of fitting the ratings are defined so this is how we can utilize this information along with the dimensional details from ASME 16.11 so in in this section we talked about uh, all about pipe couplings first we looked into definitions and interesting facts then categories types of pipe couplings its selection criteria then we talked about full and half couplings then important uh, clauses from asme standards so thank you for watching there is a link for quiz in the description box so you can look into all the questions related to pipe couplings so thank you very much for watching